If your teacher assigns you an assignment using the Google Classroom alternative within Canvas, you are going to see something that looks like this the first time that you enter into this assignment. So you will see the due date, how many points it's worth, etc. Any instructions written by your teacher. But the first time that you go to look at this, you're going to see this screen that says Welcome to Assignments. And you will have access to a template doc that your teacher sends to you. However, the first thing you need to do is link your Canvas account to your Google account. And so here I am signed in to a Chrome browser with my Gmail account. You want to make sure that you are using your SEQ account. So you're going to click on um, link once you see the correct account. If you do not see the correct account, click switch account first and make sure it's your SEQ account that you are signed into. Once you have the correct Google account showing your SEQ account, you're going to click link. It then asks permission to create folders and manage files in your Google Drive and store relevant course information there. You need to give permission to this so that when the teacher sends you a Google Doc, it will end up living in your Google Drive. So you're going to click link in the pop-up. Now, what I can see here is that there is a assignment listed and it renamed the file. So it added your name to the beginning to the name of the file itself. So in this case, it was Mauna Loa Data and CER. As I scroll down, you might see a rubric that has been added by your teacher. But I'm going to go back up and I'm going to click Open Assignment. When I open assignment, it opens a new window, and here it is a link to the file. And right now, this file has no student work on it. It's just a template. And so if I click on the name of the document, it will open up, and I will fill out this assignment with whatever information the teacher is prompting you to do. So it could be basically a blank document. It could be a template that has tables that you need to fill things out. So it's really up to your teacher and they will give you instructions. I'm just going to put some random text in here just so you can see that it changes it when you go to submit it. Now I will find this document in my Google Drive. When I go back to Canvas, and I go to this assignment, I just see open assignment here. I can click on the file right here as well, and it will open it so I can come back to it, and you can see that it has the edited information that I added to it. But when I'm ready to turn in this document before it's due, I want to make sure that I click on open assignment again. And here I could add any other files that I might need to submit to this assignment, or I could create a new doc, a new sheet, or a new slide to add to it if I need multiple documents for this particular assignment. And then when I'm ready to submit, I'm just going to press Submit. And it says that there's only one attachment, and that's because it was the one that was sent to me as the template. I didn't add any files. And so I can see the name of the assignment here, or the document that I'm submitting. And if it looks good, I'm going to press Submit. Now, in this Google assignment, it says that you're all set. It has been submitted, and it's ready for your instructor to review. When I go back to my Google Doc, for this assignment, it says my access to the file has changed. So I no longer have editing access to this particular file. I cannot make any changes once I submit that file to my teacher. If I need to make any changes, I can come back to the Google Assignments. So clicking here, Open Assignment, 
and I can unsubmit this assignment and that will allow me to make any edits to the doc again, but then I need to make sure that I submit the document um, to turn it in. So when I'm looking at this in Canvas, it doesn't really show me that I have submitted it just by looking at it in Canvas here. So to determine whether it has been submitted or not, I need to click Open Assignment. It opens up in the Google Assignment else, um, the Google Assignment page, so you can see Google Assignments up at the top left. And I can tell that I'm all set, that it has been submitted. Okay, so that's your submission receipt in this case. When your teacher has graded the assignment, they can give it back to you and give you editing rights again once they have graded this assignment. So this works just like Google Classroom. If you're familiar to using Google Classroom in the past, um, it's just using Google Assignments, which is um, very similar to Google Classroom through the Canvas portal. When your teacher grades and returns the Google assignment to you, you will get an email. And in that email, you can click View Assignment. And you will see your grade. You will see the document you turned in. And you can see that there's a comment that was left on the document. We'll look at that in just a minute. You could also see any overall feedback that the teacher might leave you. And then you can see the rubric score. And if you click on it, um, you can see like what the different categories were. But if you click on this drop down, that will expand the criteria and you could read what the particular criteria is that you got each of those scores on. Now, if I go back to the document itself, I can see if any specific feedback was left on the document. And so the teacher might leave you a comment. For example, here, there's a comment that the teacher left over in the right hand side. You could also in your grade book, so when you go into Canvas and grades, if you scroll down, you would go to the name of the assignment. So in this case, it's this one here. It was a six out of nine. Notice that there's no feedback notification in Canvas itself. It's because that feedback is left within the Google assignment itself. So if you want to see when you're looking at the grade book why you got a six out of nine, you can click on the assignment. And here it just lists to the external page. So I can click view in a new tab and it will bring me to the Google assignment. And again, this is where you would see individual feedback left on the document. You would see your rubric score and any overall feedback that was provided to you by your teacher for this particular assignment.